Okay class, that's it for today. I finished grading your tests from last week. You can just grab them on the way out. Oh and don't forget, tomorrow is your final report on Dennis Jones' book. It is worth 50% of your grade. So please, do your very best. Great work young man. There you go, not bad. I am proud of you, keep it up. Wayne, could you just hang out for a second? I'd like to talk to you. Yeah, sure. Taylor, I am very impressed by you young lady. You got an A+. Excellent work. Thank you Miss Azure. Wayne, you got an F on your exam. Did you even study? Yeah, I did. I just... I didn't think it'd be this hard. I'm worried about you. I'm not sure if you're gonna pass this class. And if you don't pass this class, you're not going to graduate. Like what Principal Moonlight said to you, if you don't succeed to become big, you do understand that she's kicking you out of school for the very last time. Do you understand? Yes, Miss Azure. You need to get an A on your report tomorrow. So please, do a really good job on it, okay? Well, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, wow. You got an A+. Man, you really are a nerd. Wayne, give that back. Oh, I will. But first, about the report that's due tomorrow, I'm gonna need you to do it for me. No, I can't do that, because that would be cheating. What, did you say? I said, that would be cheating. Are you deaf? I am doing my own report. I don't have time to do both at the- Look, you don't have a choice. Because if I don't get an A, then I'm not gonna graduate. That is your problem. And I do have a choice. My choice is to focus on my own report, and my graduation speech, while you, focus on your own problems. Besides, if you cheat, you'll never get ahead. Ha 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 ha. Sounds like something a loser would say. See you later, nerd. Taylor, I overheard your conversation with Wayne. Yeah, he forced me to do his report for him, even though I told him it is cheating. Actually, I do have a plan. There you are. It's about time. You got my book report? Why yes, I do. Here you go. You see I stayed up all night working on it and I didn't even get to do my own. Ah. That really sucks for you. Yeah I don't think so. I actually did mine during my open period and I did Wayne's at home. And I was like, well good luck trying to find a way to pass the class, Wayne the whiner. Hey Miss Azure, I finished my book report. I spent all night finishing it, and I think you're gonna be really impressed. Oh, I'm really happy to hear that Wayne. Why don't you just hold on to that, for now? Hey Taylor, good morning. Morning Miss Azure. Wayne will be out of your shoes in no time. Oh yes, this will be the greatest thing ever. Hey listen, I feel really bad. So, since you won't be graduating, you can come to my graduation party instead. Okay class, settle down. Now, I know that in the past, everyone just turned in their book reports. But this time, I decided to switch it up a little bit. So instead of turning them in, I'm gonna have each one of you present them, to the class. Who wants to go first? Wayne. Why don't you present yours first? You seemed very excited about it earlier. Oh, of course. Dennis Jones is an inspirational content creator who believes... Oh, actually. I don't want you to read the reports. I want you to describe it, in your own words. 
Um. Dennis Jones is an inspirational, inspirational content creator who believes in What's wrong, Wayne? You did read the book, right? No, no. Of course I read it. I just... I, I don't know it off the top of my head. Oh, really? Or, you don't know it all? What? No, no, no. I, I know what the book is about. I am. Wayne, be honest. I know you didn't write that book report. You see. I came across your graduation invites, so I rushed out to give them to you. Just in time to overhear your conversation with Taylor, where you forced her to do your book report for you, even though she told you it was cheating. So you see, I know you didn't read the book, or do your own report. You won't be needing these anymore. So here's an invitation to the principal's office instead. Wait, no, no. Please, please, I can't go to the principal's office. You can go now. Oh, and Wayne. If you actually read the book, you would have learned in chapter one that if you cheat, you never get ahead. Would you like to present your book report now? Yes, I would love to. So you see, that's what I've learned, and that is something you should learn, about succeeding to go big, or go home. Thank you, Miss Haven. Let this be a reminder, seniors, that if you cheat, you never get ahead. Now we will hand out the diplomas. Clearly I'm disgusted by the way Wayne tried to get ahead. But karma came to him. Anyway, this incredible journey at Moonlight High School is really awesome. Are there rough times? Absolutely. But there are good times too. And Jerome and Jessica can have that again next year. Well, not for long. Congratulations ladies. Thank you. And by the way, these stooges were so rude to us. What did they say? Well they were like giving us looks, and they said, effing shit, in front of us as we walked out of the gym. All I can say is, they'll never, get ahead. This is going to be way worse for us. The Stooges are disgusted with you guys. Good, they're sore losers. Then I reminded too. But if the girls would have gone ahead in two more years, they wouldn't have cheated on their tests. They've done way worse. We wouldn't be surprised if they didn't graduate and have to repeat the 12th grade. Oh now they're coming over here. Great. You know what? Say what you want about us. Your petty insults and weak as threats mean nothing. See that girls? They're like, hanging out with these fame whores that will like strips. Come on. Are they serious? Regina, there she goes. Regina, what the fuck did you say about us? Come on over here Emma, and say that again. Amber, don't chase her. Regina, did you say that about us? Did Regina really say that we'll be looking like strippers? Did she really say that and she's cowardly walking out? What? Say something to them. That they're disgusting seniors for growing up like that? That's what I think. Why are we disgusting seniors? You're a disgusting hoe that's gonna do worse. You guys are like, 17 and 18 years old. 
What is wrong with you? Well, what, what is, is wrong, wrong with you? you? What is wrong with you for talking about our girls? You're disgusting. You guys disgust me. You're disgusting. A disgusting narrow-minded bitch. How dare you? Hey, you better study a lot harder than you did. Look at the new lackeys running behind her. Look at that. That's a bully. A bully and her lackeys. You will never get ahead, bitches. Never. Oh, shove those tampons up your trash asses on your way out. Oh, yeah. Someone's on her period, all right. You guys, you know why she's pissed. Because they're sore losers. I cannot believe that this girl just turned around and said we are disgusting seniors. You are disgusting because you're growing up as a felon. Yeah. What are they disgusted by? Because they're wearing flats, and people that wear flats every day are angry. Ha ha. Oh, I love that. They're bitter and angry. Can I get an amen? Oh, look at that. They're going off at our friends outside too. All right, girls. Settle down. You're all right. We just overheard the outburst. Yeah, we're so sorry. It was the Stooges that started it. That's okay. We forgive you. Moonlight High School goes down in history of growing strong. The beginning of the next season will grow even stronger than ever before. I just know that Jessica will grow big next year as our closest friends have. I'd be happy to see Amber and Heather pay a visit here at school. I would be glad because they're like my own daughters. I would love that. You did it. You made it. We couldn't have done it without each other. Thanks for sticking around. You know, this is my legacy. I created it. I want to thank everybody that's here. And just thanks for working so hard and giving your all and getting out there. Aw. Come here. Like when I think of this journey, I think about having a good relationship with Principal Moonlight when she was a choir teacher. She's like my best friend supporting me all the way. I just had a rough childhood. We love you, Amber. Amber is strong will. What she has been through. What she has overcome. Mimi's best skills of being a principal has really pulled off and she will have years and years and years of keeping her job and she loves it. I know Moonlight Mimi will be back to continue what she started two years ago. She has created this empire. I know Mimi wants to be the queen of her castle. This is really the end of the second chapter and the beginning of a new one. Well, thanks for everything Principal Moonlight. We'll see you soon. See you girls around. Hey! Your couch doesn't do that. What? That's odd. Ha <laughs> ha. I just put a whoopee cushion under there. Perhaps this will change your mind. There you go. I hope to not shit my pants this time. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Uh, uh oh. Um, what's wrong? Uh, love, whatever you do, don't look into the handbook. How come? You don't want to know. Wait, did he just? Yeah, he did. Oh, I heard you guys are performing at your house tomorrow night. Why yes, we are. Would you guys like to come over? Oh hell yeah, that would be great. And I can't wait to hear you sing. 
Aw. Well, we have some more guests coming as well. This will be a blast. I'll get it. Who could that be? Hey girls. How have you been? Been great. We just want to come by to visit. Well, Jace is upstairs in the bathroom. Which is terrible. We don't want to know. Mimi, thanks for inviting us to your house for your guys' performance. It's gonna be fun. You're welcome. So, Amberlin and I have planned to bring strawberries, kumquats, and your guys' favorite choice of food. Oh, that's generous of you girls. Is there a problem? What are you bringing again? What? Strawberries and kumquats. They're really good fruits to have. Not on piece of shit of like that. You're calling them a piece of shit. Sorry. They're not my type. You guys can eat them, but I won't. Sorry for the disrespect. Don't you think you can find them in the trash? Excuse me. Why bring such tasteless and seed-filled junk to our party? You're such a fucking bitch. Good. I'm allergic to them. I have every right to question everyone's food. Because it's my honest opinion. And it's not my favorite types of food. You don't know what she said. We were. No, you aren't. We did. We promise. Stop saying you are when you weren't you guys. You just sit there like nothing happened. There is some respect issue with Mimi. Amberlin has problems. Disrespecting me in front of my friends? It's bullshit. We don't have time for this. It's really disgusting. This is getting out of hand. How she talks to me like that. Do you know how disrespected Heather Lee felt? Look, I don't have to talk to you. Then don't. I know you don't care how you make me feel. Of course. Don't point yeah. at me. Don't okay. fucking point at I me. I don't care. Girls, listen, fuck you. No, fuck you. Amberlin, just stop. Just sit down. Guys, we're best friends. We shouldn't be fighting. Then don't bring these girls to my fucking house, Jessica. You're choosing her over us. That's Nobody not true. talks to me like it's this. It's not like that. Jace, you know, I should never be treated like this by this fucking bitch. You're just saying things in a heated argument. No, I am not. If you're really our friends, you would understand. You can have her. Amberlyn, wait. We can fix this. No, we cannot, Jace. Is she crying?